Welcome to Fishing with Greg. My name is Gregory. On this episode, Heather and I are doing the Donald Lake Loop northeast of Sudbury. Let's go! Down. Stay down, bud. Good job. I can't see how close it is. He's fighting quite hard. Make sure you don't re reel him in too close to the tip of your rod. Good job. It's coming. Come here, big fella. Come on, buddy. Come on back. There you go. Hold that up again. Got him? Yep. Look at that one. Ooh. Carafel Lake. There are some nice bass in here. Good job. What is yeah, that? It's pretty good. Another fish on for Heather. I don't know how much I have in. Oh, it's a muskie. Holy shit, I caught a muskie. Just wait until we get it in the net. See, you gotta go head first. Come on, buddy. Holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a muskie. <laughs> On a popper with light line and no leader. Don't do that. Don't do the death roll, bud. Well, then maybe it was a muskie yesterday. Maybe. That's a beautiful fish. Okay, you grab him by the head, behind the head, but like really hard, really hard. Okay, got him. And then just like try to hold him to the side and support his spine. Like Look this? at that. Yeah. Sweet. So we're just actually going to get a picture of this one. Uh, we got our little video here, but I'm going to get a picture. So that's a great job by Heather on the top water. I think Heather might have musky number two here. Yep. Slayer. Oh, we got lucky that time too. Oh, did you just snip it off? Wow. Oh, there's a bird. What are you doing? Get bird? out of here, bird. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy bird. Muskie number two. All right, get him back in the water very slowly there. show you how close that was. That's yeah. what happens when you're fishing for bass. That's frayed. Oh shit. I'm catching a lot of bass like this. Some a little bigger, some smaller. 
lot of top water action here on uh, Carafel Lake. I don't think that's the biggest we got, but I mean, I'm happy kept catching those uh, all night. It's not a muskie, but uh, you know, these are pretty good. See what it was? No. Calm down now. That's good. Stay down. Right in the current? Yep, right in the current. Oh, sorry, he's got way too short on there. Come on out. Come on. Come on. Let's go eat him around again. Heather gets us another nice one on the top water, right in the current. Boom. After spending two nights on Carafel Lake and one night on Lower Madagamassi, where Heather caught that last smallmouth, we headed to Madagamassi Lake, the final stop before getting to Donald. We saw some nice cliffs on Madagamassi Lake, but didn't catch anything particularly big. After a rainy morning and a few portages, we made it to Donald Lake. You couldn't dream of a better habitat for smallmouth bass. Crystal clear water, a lack of predators, and boulders everywhere. There we go. <laughs> I jumped him right into the basket. That's the problem we're looking for. Well, that took hours of work. Well, there we go. I'm sure they get much, much bigger than this on Donald, but uh, it's kind of uh, going in the right direction. We haven't had anything close to that yet. It's the first night, got a couple days still left, and we will see what we can do. my line going out didn't even hit the bottom. Really far. There we go. Yeah. Kind of 
like the one yesterday. Not a giant, but I mean, we're starting to work towards the red side. So, the big thing on that catch was I actually was letting my drop shot sink and I just noticed my line start going out faster than it would if it was just dropping. So that fish just took it before it even hit the bottom and it was just swimming away with it. So I just closed my bail, set the hook and, and got it in. Again, I think there's going to be, hopefully we catch some bigger ones than that, but moving towards the right sides here on Donald Lake. We also think we might have seen a peregrine falcon on these cliffs, which was uh, pretty neat as well. I know there's some in Demogamy, uh, so it could be that that's what we saw just up here. Based on what I saw, yellow perch and crayfish comprise a large portion of the diet of the smallmouth bass in Donald Lake. If you've been to Donald Lake and think there's other forage around, please mention it in the comments below. As you can see, the water is about as clear as it gets, which is great news since bass rely mostly on sight to feed. This is fantastic for top water fishing since, in the right conditions, bass will come a long way to hit a lure, especially in a place where they're used to chasing bait fish. When bass are focusing their efforts on crayfish, try techniques such as drop shotting, net rigging, and dragging a tube. All of these can be used to mimic crayfish. is right behind you to your left if you need it. Yeah, I might need your help with that. Okay, wait, then I gotta bring it back. Foul hook, so if you felt a little bit bigger than he is, then he's not small. Good decision switching to that uh, little popper, I think. I like when they get those stripes going. We just actually saw a bear, and then we caught a bass. It's all right. It's a nice little chunky fish there. Gonna get him right back in the water. Just downgraded to a, uh, had a couple of hits and misses on the Spook Junior, or whatever it's called. So I just downgraded to a smaller bait which I would like to show you, but it's all tangled in the net. There. It's a little small popper. Cool.
There we go. I'm talking about work at that point. Kill shot. Really happy with this. This is the first time I've used this uh, drop shot. Dude. It's really nice. Very buoyant. That's, uh, that's a chunky fish right there. That's why you come to Donald Lake and catch some big brown. Beautiful. Still want like a six pounder, but I'll catch these all day. So we're fishing a, a big point here, and there's a nice pile of rocks, and I just cast the other edge of it a little further off the point. That's the beautiful thing about this crystal clear water, is you can see all this stuff. And while we're camping and fishing without a fish finder or any kind of electronics, use your eyes. It's that simple. Make sure to check out my blog for additional information which includes pictures and trip notes. Links are included in the description of the video. The Chinaguchi Donald Lake Loop is a great choice for people who love camping, but also like to spend a little bit of time fishing. I didn't catch the huge smallmouth I was chasing on this trip but that only gives me more reason to come back and explore the area just a little bit more.